how to breed superworms. Superworms are the larva of darkling beetles. They are used as a food source. For animals like chickens, ducks, reptiles, sugar gliders, hamsters, hedgehogs, fish and also birds, superworms are similar in appearance to mealworms, however. Superworms are larger and ranges from 2 to 3 inches in length and require different care. Superworms do not pupate easily and may remain in the larval stage for 6 months to 1 year. Superworms have four stages of life, egg, larva, pupae, and beetle. The beetles are the only ones that reproduce. How do you start breeding superworms? To breed your own start by buying 100 to 1000 superworms and keep them in individual containers for them to pupate. Do not put substrate like wheat bran or oatmeal in each container. We can use pupation chambers, such as deli cups, canisters, or vials. You must punch some holes in the lid for ventilation. Once you have isolated your superworms, keep them in a warm, dark place for about 10 days. After 10 days, superworms curled inward head to tail preparing to create cocoons. Once a worm has pupated it will look like a white or cream-colored alien as most people call them. This is their third stage of life. You can either leave them in the cups or place them all in a separate container. When the legs turn darker in color you know beetle is about to emerge. The process from pupae to beetle takes about 7 to 12 days. Once the pupa turn into beetles, they can be housed together in the breeding container. Prepare the beddings. Add 1 to 2 inches substrate material like peat moss, oatmeal, wheat bran or chicken meal pellet type. You can use really any type of container, but to prevent escape, keep the beetle colony in a container with smooth sides. Give them fruits and vegetables, such as watermelons, apples, carrots, sweet potatoes, potatoes, say a tea, and squash are good sources of nutrition and moisture. Give them the right amount they can consume within a day or two. If overfeeding happened, remove decaying fruits or vegetables to avoid moisture as it will also produce foul odor I bet you wouldn't want. Too much moisture will kill the superworms, while too little moisture may cause cannibalism. Maintain a constant temperature of 21 degrees to 27 degrees Celsius. Within a few days the beetles will begin to breed and start laying eggs. A single female may lay several hundred eggs in the substrate. After 7 to 10 days the eggs will hatch and a very small white larvae will be visible.
After 15 days you need to separate the beetles from the substrate and transfer them to a new container. This allows the eggs to hatch and furthers your chances of obtaining more harvest. Repeat the process. You will start to see movement in the bedding that you harvested. Congratulations! You have now successfully completed your first breeding cycle. It will take time before your colony is established, but once it is you have a continuous supply of superworms. Thank you for watching.